smells straight up like E85, bro. I swear I'ma miss this car, but like now that it's more official, bro, I'm about to miss my car so much, bro. See, I'm trying to get this light out right now. So as soon as I get this done, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to y'all because it's a lot of important stuff I want to tell y'all before the most important, you know, message. So go ahead and knock this down. As soon as I'm done getting these lights out, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera back on. You feel me? Because this is gonna take a while and I really just don't want to record it. So I see it, man. So I got one out. I'm gonna hurry up and go ahead and do the other one. I'm gonna get to y'all boys in a second because y'all can see it's raining. I got the slides on. I'm on BS. So I'm gonna hurry up and get this over with for y'all, man. Boy, I finally got these lights done, dog. Really ain't even take me long either, bro. All I gotta do is put these last little three screws in, or well, yeah, three screws in right here, and I'll be done. So officially done, switching lights, man. Y'all see I got these in here, so if anybody needs some sequential tail lights, if I don't give them to my man Henry, if he don't upgrade his Camaro to an SS or a Z01 or whatever he get, if you don't want these for a Chevy, somebody can hit me up because I'm a seller, so. Anybody need some sequential lights, man, I got a Camaro. Y'all better hit me up ASAP because I know they're going to sell fast. I know a lot of people like these lights. Y'all can see, all I got to do is just get all this little stuff off these tiles and all that. I'm going to probably do that later tonight. But yeah, man, I just put the stock lights back in. And the stock lights really don't even look that bad, honestly. It's just, I got this third brake light in, so. Whoever get it, they might want to put some black lights in unless they just leave it like that, but. Now I'm finally done putting my lights in. Y'all can see that I'm officially done doing everything to that Camaro. Y'all see I took my name off at the tire stickers. I put the stock lights back in. I literally did everything. I just had to make this video, you know, just so y'all can understand more of what's going on with my car and when it will be here. Because honestly, it was supposed to be here today and I was supposed to get it tomorrow. So I'm just giving, you know, y'all this update on what's really going on. So before I get started and before I keep going, I just want to say I definitely appreciate everybody, man, that's been watching my channel, that's subscribed, man, that's commenting, that's liking, because that's really helping me so much, man. Like, we already at 800 subscribers, bro, and I haven't even had my channel for, what, seven, eight months, man. Look, we already at 800 subscribers man 811 bro i know we can get to a thousand so fast like i haven't even been really saying let's get to a thousand subscribers let's get to a thousand subscribers but my channel is growing so fast man i just want to give a huge thank you and a huge shout out to all y'all and share my videos you know that watch my videos man because i definitely appreciate y'all man because when i get big off this youtube stuff when my channel gets where i want it to go i'm gonna definitely remember all y'all bro so the reason why I'm here today, bro, is because I want to give an update on my new car. You know, I want to let y'all know what's really going on because everybody been still trying to figure out what is he getting, what car is he getting. And, you know, thank you for watching my last video because a lot of people watched that video and a lot of people been asking around what car is he getting, what car is he getting. And everybody been watching that video just to try to guess. But if you know me, I think you know what car I'm really getting. But I'm not going to say too much, man. So if you didn't watch that last video, go watch it and try to guess what I'm getting. Because I don't want to keep talking about it, you know, after I tell y'all this story, what's going on with it. So now what will happen with my car is, didn't tell y'all in the last video, I'm not too sure if I did or not. But the car that I bought is really located in California. And I stay in Michigan. That's literally on the whole other side of the world, you know. I'm all the way up here in California is all the way, you know, on the other side. So I knew one, either I was going to have to get it shipped or two, you know, I was going to have to either fly and go get it. But I want to give a huge shout out to my man's bro, Malik Green, bro, because he made this process 10 times easier, bro. Like I didn't have to go to a dealership, bro. Like if I would have went to the dealership like I did at first, I would have wasted so much time. I wouldn't have been happy, you know, with my payments. I wouldn't have been happy with... Uh, you know would have got approved for you know or my interest rate you know i just feel like if i didn't go to malik green i know for sure that everything wouldn't have went you know the way that it did i know the process wouldn't have been as easy as it was you know with dealing with malik and the reason why i'm giving malik a huge shout out is because he is an auto broker and he a credit specialist so he made this whole process with me buying a car way easier and again he's actually you know like tapped in with a dealer a chevy dealership you know here so that helped me sell my Camaro to that dealership easier. You know, like I said in my last video that I got a good amount of money for it, it was from that dealership. If I didn't go through Malik, then nine times out of 10, this deal wouldn't have went as smooth because I know for a fact no other dealership probably would have, probably wouldn't have gave me what I wanted for that Camaro. Because the dealership I went to in my city, 
they offered me a price and it was sounding good but once i went there and took my car there it was nothing like the numbers that they were saying over the phone and that my man Devin was telling me honestly i'm happy that i didn't go to that dealership bro and i'm happy i didn't get the car that they had there because it was overpriced and not only that too the manager was driving it around putting so many miles on it as it was his regular car and i just don't understand why you would want to drive a car around that you're going to end up selling to somebody like it just doesn't make sense like i appreciate you Devin, for trying to you know get me approved you know for the car i wanted and all of that but i'm just glad i didn't get that car that was there and you know with those miles and for that price because for the price that car was i could have built a brand new one and literally got one for like five six k cheaper so i'm happy i went to malik man i just want to give a huge shout out to him once again bro because he flew all the way to california to give the check over to the guy to give him the title because the dealership that bought my car and that was making the check for you know the car that i found off a private seller dealership they didn't want to send over a check that big you know all the way to california even though it would be easy for them to catch somebody you know for fraud or you know stealing that check they just didn't want to risk sending over a check that big all the way to California. So this is where Malik come in clutch at because the car is all the way in California. Malik is used to driving, you know, all the way, you know, out of state like that because he, you know, he drive cars, you know, he buy cars. That's just his job. But he offered me, you know, to go all the way to California to get my car and bring it back because one, he had to take the title over there. Like I said, the dealership didn't want to send over a check that big to somebody or they didn't want to make a check unless they for sure knew they were getting the title. So Malik got his flight, you know, went to California, everything, you know, gave the dude, you know, the check. But the problem was when he went, it was Sunday. And y'all know banks don't be open on Sunday. So when he gave the dude the check, the dude just gave him the car and, you know, was telling him like, you know, I'll let you get the car until, you know, I can clear the check tomorrow because I understand him, you know, even though we all the way from michigan like that would be stupid for someone to fly all the way across the world you know to try to steal a car or give a fake check like anything like that for a car but at the end of the day i understand where he's coming from because me if i had a car for 55k anything like that and somebody wants to buy it i'm gonna make sure that i have my money first so i don't blame him at all and shout out to sean because that's his name he actually was a real cool guy i mean i'll show y'all pictures and videos of his garage bro he literally has cars all in his garage and i'm so happy that i bought my car from him because he took so much care of it it looked brand new you know like it's shiny when y'all see it y'all gonna be excited and y'all gonna be surprised that the car is not brand new as i was saying so he waited for the check to clear because you know he just wanted to be you know on the safe side and wanted to make sure he get his money so with malik you know having to wait another day malik had to you know buy a hotel room you know he had to stay there and that pushed it back because when malik first got there he was gonna give him the check and get the title and come back that same day he would be back here by tuesday wednesday you know and i would have my car by thursday because you know the dealership got to service it as y'all can see as the plans changed malik obviously got the title the next day and you know that just pushed it back you know another day so malik was just trying you know to find a way we could transport it that's why my car not here and that's why i don't got it yet and i'm actually not mad that it's a longer wait because it's actually better that you know malik didn't drive it you know and we put all of those miles on it because from california to michigan is like 1900 to 2200 miles and that's really not bad you know because like i said the car isn't brand new it's not like it has to get broken into. It's already broken into, so I didn't really mind, you know, the miles. But at the end of the day, it's kind of better for me because I don't. We don't have to worry about rocks or anything like that. You know, just going through all of them states. You know, I don't have to worry about, you know, him burning all that gas because you know he had to fill up a lot. So that's what's, you know, going on with my car. I just got an update today from Malik that my car will be here before friday so just stay tuned for the video man keep trying to guess what i got if you don't already know man and i just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's subscribing and everybody that's watching everybody you know that's just staying tuned you know i definitely appreciate y'all because y'all helping my channel grow like crazy bro other thing is you know what i want to say about malik i was saying you know he helped people with credit and everything man if it wasn't for malik bro i promise to god bro i would not be in this situation at all you know where i'm at you know with my credit and everything right now bro because before i got this camaro my credit score wasn't that good i was young i was 19 20 you know just getting used to having credit i was you know messing my credit up but when i went to malik man he showed me everything that i had to do he literally told me and gave me tips you know on everything 
and now look at me bro like i'm 22 years old you know buying my dream car so i just want to give a huge shout out man a huge thank you to malik bro because man he is a lifesaver bro if anybody say malik don't fix credit or make the car buying process easier they alive bro and they hating on him bro i'm gonna tell you this for sure he take care of his business bro and i'm not only saying that because he helped me you know tavy can vouch for him i got so many other people that can vouch for him you know malik really helped a lot of people he may not get to you right away you know he might not can do it when you want to do it you know but if he say he gonna do something for you bro he gonna do it i'm telling you i call malik bro and I, I was just like this. I'm like, bro, I went to the dealership. You know, I was looking at this car, so-and-so. I didn't really like their numbers, bro. Like, he helped me, you know, sell my Camaro, you know, and help me get this car. He like, you know, if you want to do it, you know, we're going to get it done. And I'm like, bro, I, I think it's time, bro. You know, like I said, my credit getting higher. Got some money to put down, you know, anything I can do, you know, to make this process happen. You know, and he said, we're going to make it happen. And look malik really made it happen bro if i went to a dealership if i went anywhere somewhere else bro they want to care like that they wouldn't went out that way like that bro they're not gonna go get you a car from somewhere like that you know they trying to make money off what they got you know what i'm saying like i said this was a win for everybody bro this was a win for me i got my dream car this is a win for malik he sold the dealership a car but that's buying my car and then I want that too. He just helped the dealership sell another car to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like with this, everybody won, you know, in this situation. And that's why I'm really happy, you know, I went through Malik, bro, because this process wasn't hard. You know, I wasn't stressing. I got to give a shout out to my mans, bro. Y'all go add him on Facebook, whatever, bro. Um, whatever. Uh, yeah, hit him up on Facebook, man. I'm going to show y'all his, his main Facebook name. That's what it say, Certified Broker. Uh, let me give y'all his Facebook name, you know, and, you know, his business name on Facebook just so y'all, you know, can hit him up. But it say no DMs, bro, so y'all got to get to him how y'all can get to him, bro. Like, he a busy man. He be working. But this is his Facebook name, man. Y'all see, he a certified auto broker. He a certified credit uh, specialist. Like I said, he fixed my credit, bro. If it wasn't for him, nine times out of ten, bro, I would not be in this place today, bro. Because when my credit was messed up, bro, definitely fixed my credit, bro. And... If you want these cars, man, you got to get credit, bro. You're not doing nothing without credit, bro. I'm just getting y'all, you know, hip now, bro, because, you know, I want to see everybody in a better, you know, situation. I got a lot of people that, you know, my age that don't even have credit. You know, it's people older than me that don't even know about credit. And I sent them to Malik, and Malik got them right, bro. So, y'all got to get with the program, bro. It's 2021, bro. It ain't, about, it ain't all about cash, bro. Y'all got to y'all gotta get used to this credit stuff. You know, too sure if you be active on that page, but... This is his business, you know, financial service, you know, like, let's say Malik don't do this, Malik don't do, stop hating, bruh. Stop hating on that, man. Here's a black man with his own business, bruh. Like, he may not get to you right away. He might not be perfect, but you got to respect him, bruh. Like, he's not like, he's not a white guy, you know, that don't give a shit about you, you know, he a black guy like us. You know, from the black community, y'all should respect him. There's no way in hell it should be no black people talking bad about Malik when there's no other people his age or you know in our community doing the stuff that he's doing that's just facts bro you know i'm not trying to preach and i'm not trying to talk y'all ear off but i definitely you know got to speak some facts and definitely let y'all know i'm the type of person that's gonna give him you know the credit when it's due i'm not gonna sit here and act like oh i just got a new car i'm not bro if it wasn't from a leak bro nine times out of ten it wouldn't have happened this move i probably wouldn't have had this car i wouldn't have got a deal like and like i said i probably wouldn't even have had this ss because he helped me with my credit bro so my advice before I end this video, work on y'all credit, bro, if you don't know nothing about credit. If you stay in Michigan or if you stay in Jackson, go hit up Malik. I just showed y'all his Facebook name and his business page. So that's all I just wanted to say. You know, my car will be here any day, y'all. I just had to, you know, get this video out just so y'all will understand why I don't have it yet, you know, and what's the hold up. But my man's leak, you know, went to take him that check, you know. Got everything straight. My car is actually on the way right now. I got pictures sent of it. That's the thumbnail. I didn't know the picture. That's on the thumbnail. It's not a fake picture. I just covered up the car because I didn't really want anybody to, to know yet if you didn't guess it right. I just want to say one more time, thank you for getting me to 800 subscribers, bro. We already at, what, 811? Let's keep going, man. I know we can hit 1,000 soon, bro. Let's get it. 
please stay tuned, man. I'm going to wrap this video up right here, man, because there ain't nothing else for me to talk about. Sorry if I talk y'all ear off, but I just had to give this information out to y'all just so it would make sense. But if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, man, because we got some crazy content coming soon. I know y'all not going to want to miss it, but I'm going to see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out.